We work on a wide range of projects across all sectors, um, really with the, towards the aims of furthering energy sustainability and tackling fuel poverty. And we saw this gap in secondary schools that we wanted to do something about. YEP is um, Young Energy People. It was um, established by Swaya. YEP programme is a programme for most schools who can look at their energy and improve. You realise and learn things that you had absolutely no idea about. It's really important. It saves money, helps the environment. You've got two benefits to the project. You've got the energy saving benefits in terms of cost and environmental impact, and you've got the wider educational benefits, which are the benefits that I really tend to see coming through in schools. We get them interested really through the recruitment assembly, that's a crucial part of the process. Good afternoon, you are. And they're then given an opportunity to apply to become part of the school energy management team. Once we have the team established, we then go in and train the students in sustainability issues and then also how to actually carry out an energy survey of their school. So they'll then develop a full energy report for their school and provide recommendations to the head teacher and the governors of their school. We look at things and uh, say, how can this be improved, and then think about ideas in which it can be improved. The important point about the YEP project is it is still student guided. They decide what they want to do, and um, it makes a difference. Energy Detectors, Tewkesbury School first invented them, and we decided that they should be going around the blocks and making sure that the lights and computers and projectors that use a lot of energy aren't left on. The lights are on. Okay. Um, this is one of our energy display boards. Some year eights make little energy pledges on a leaf. And then over here is our um, board which we display which blocks are performing the best and which are performing the worst. Um, so here you can see the new science block roof that's been completely replaced and more insulation has been added. This is the energy monitor loan scheme we have for the students. Um, they can take this out for one week for free. The whole point of the scheme is basically to show the students how much energy is using, how much it costs and how much CO2 it puts into the atmosphere and hopefully they can reduce that. This is the desktop background which I've designed. It's on all of the school computers so that the kids are reminded to how to save energy and that the schools are part of the YET project. Um, so the school have this energy monitoring thing which we can pull up online and then we can see every single block's energy usage, gas usage, the current temperature, what the boilers are doing and then we can change that. We've got the evidence now that it does actually help save money and energy throughout the school. We've had visits from schools where they work together as a team and discuss the sort of things that was going on in both schools. We've got some ideas from them and hopefully they'll have got some ideas from us. Because we've been able to save money in other areas, we've actually been able to reinvest in different parts of the uh, curriculum. We saved £2,876.76. pence. We could buy 15 Mongoose BMX bikes. A lot of expensive River Island bikes. <laughs> <laughs> it does return on investment in just over a year, so even if schools had to pay for it themselves, they would get that money back through their savings. We've raised awareness of sustainability issues and that's, that's the biggest gain. And that's not just amongst the young people, that's amongst staff as well. They've learned to take on responsibility, they've improved their presentation skills, they've developed leadership skills. They actually see that they do have the ability to make a difference in their school. You feel good at the end of it, you feel happy that you've done it and you feel um, like you've achieved something. For future generations, uh, we won't have any resources left if we don't save energy, so I thought I'd try and help out. Without the youngsters actually buying into it, it wouldn't have been the success it has been. The students continue to work on the project after we're gone. They just do it because that's something they believe in. They think it's a worthwhile thing to do.